All right, so after talking about it with my buddy Evan about whatnot, I've decided I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna rekindle. I'm gonna rekindle my whatnot experiences. We're trying to do some like random pulls, $3 starts, random pulls, men's shirts, polos, button ups. And then on a different night of the week, I'm gonna do men's uh, pants and shorts and things like that. So this is me getting ready for the first one on Tuesday. Uh, so uh, wish me luck, let's see how it goes. So today I've got a lot to drop off. You'll see this box right here. It's got a Roomba i3 vacuum. I paid $25 at the thrift last week and it sold for $99.95 over the weekend. In the back of the car, I've got the Superman statue that I sold for 170 bucks, but I've also gotten that big old box, the He-Man Battle Cat Ride-On toy that sold for $350. So that made some really good change uh, over the weekend. Let's, so let's go to the thrift store and see if we can find a few things to replenish the store and get this uh, activity back up and running. So last week I bought this AudioVox portable VCR. It has a four inch screen built into it. It's kind of like old tech, but it was good tech for its time. I paid 15 for it and it would have sold for about 95 bucks, but unfortunately half the screen didn't even work. So I'm gonna bring it back for store credit because my Google allows returns. Well, unfortunately I'm not having much luck. I mean, they got some good stuff, but they just overpriced. Um, uh, iRobot for 30, only sells for about 50. This Wheel of Fortune plug and play for seven, which only sells for about 14, 15. I did find this plug and play Mrs. Pac-Man Galaga for six. It sells for about 20 though. The other thing I found was this Nighthawk Wi-Fi range extender. They want $19.99 and it sells for about 25 to 30 bucks. So like I said, everything's just priced the way it would be on eBay. So right now this is all I got. Oh, a projector, Porta Trace projector. That could be a $25 item. What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? $25. Look at there. Go figure. Not having much luck from a resale perspective, but I found something I think my wife would like. It's pretty nice. It's like a UGG, U G G, UGG, Australian. It's like a pullover of some type. I don't know exactly what you call this, but she loves these type of coats. It's only 10 bucks. And even if she doesn't like it, it's got a little bit of resale value around the $30 mark. Some listed around 50. Well, that was a bit of a dud visit. Maybe we'll have some better luck tomorrow at lunch break. So as far as my car savings is concerned, in the last update, I had about $8,500 saved up. So I rounded that to eight and um, I had gotten a little bit over nine before now. I made some decisions, hard decisions, tough decisions, but what I've decided to do is I can no longer go for a Tahoe. Too big, engine's too large. I, I wanted, my desires were greater than my pocketbook. Let's just put it that way. And I also don't wanna have to pay for the gas that that thing's gonna suck up. I decided to go a little bit smaller and I don't know yet where I'm going to land. So I still gotta figure that one out. I am leaning towards a Hyundai Palisade 2324 model. I'm not 100% sold on that either. But lastly, I've decided to give myself around another 10, 11, 12 months. And my son's just gonna start driving in my old SUV Honda Pilot, which ha which is a 2007 with 193,000 miles on it. Because in my family, we have a run of bad luck where teenagers tend to get into accidents. And personally, I just don't want him to do that in this truck. So in light of all of that, I did buy myself a nice present. In order to give myself a little peace of mind and go on a whole nother year without getting a new car because I'd gotten my brain, my, my heart so set on getting a new car, I bought myself a new present to update my truck. This is what the radio used to look like in my Toyota Tacoma 2015 model. And this is what it looks like now. That's right, I upgraded it. Big 10 inch floating screen. It's got Android Auto. It functions amazingly. It lets me see all of my gauges because it's connected to my truck. I can see my speedometer. I can see my gas. I can see everything. My, ugh, it's so awesome. And you know what? In addition to that, I spent a little bit more money 
and I put in a wireless charger. Now this one was aftermarket, meaning it doesn't fit in anywhere. It's not built to fit. I just made it fit. However, since the radio has wireless Android Auto, I put in this wireless charger. I could keep the phone in my pocket, or I could just sit it right here beside me as I travel, and I could take down that big old thing I used to have in my truck that was kind of an eyesore and held my phone up. In all, this whole setup cost me a $1,600. So that's gonna set me back quite a bit in my savings for a new car. Yes, I do, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. But I just felt like I needed it and you know what? I'm okay with that. Forgive me, cause I'm gonna rant for a little bit right now. I get so mad when I use so much bubble wrap and so much packing paper and the proper boxes and I ship it properly and then UPS breaks it. They just break it. Like almost as if they go out of their way to do it because I put so much bubble wrap on this Superman that sold for 170 bucks. They had to have like literally dropped it on purpose or threw it in order for it to break like this. Now I gotta go through all the stupid processes of returning $175 plus shipping, return it back to me, lose that money too, file a claim with UPS. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. It just... You do everything you possibly can and it gets ruined. So I started Whatnot a few weeks ago and I've had about five shows since I started and it's been doing all right so here for example um on the first night I sold 19 items for 67 dollars in sales uh 14 items for 43 on day two the next week 14 items for 42 dollars then 25 items for 91 dollars so it's really starting to pick up there I joined a raid train which I think helps with traffic and then 26 items for 117 dollars was the last show which i did just last night it's mostly been men's clothes starting at three dollars i've got a lot of stuff that hasn't sold in the men's clothes category and because i've been buying things from uh goodwill for a dollar still really good stuff for just a dollar uh i figured that was the best thing to you know get back at it and try my uh, hand at whatnot eventually if this really does continue i gotta do one two things uh, one, I got to slow down because doing two shows a week after work in the evening, that takes up four, four days of my week. And I haven't listed anything on eBay because of it. Um, and then secondly, I've got to get more cheap inventory. So the stuff that doesn't sell, I can't necessarily put back up for auction. At least not more than twice, right? And then... Uh, I'll eventually run out. I got to get more good inventory, 40 to 50 items per show. So that's a difficult thing for me, um, considering on dollar day, there doesn't have a lot of good inventory, just okay inventory. So things to consider if I'm going to keep this up. Let's try again. It's Friday. I've gone picking four days this week and have barely found anything, maybe two items. Uh, I don't know if that's a sign of pricing's going up too much or signs of eBay, or I should say Google sending their crap to Texas to shop online. But uh, let's just see it again. Let's see what happens. They've significantly gone down in price online, but I finally found these from my bucket list. And they're only $5.99. So even for 45, 50 bucks, unlike the 80 they used to be, I'll take these home. You gotta look underneath, see if they are real. Made in China is what you're looking for. Yep, made in China. All right, these are real. I'll take them. So I really don't know how you pronounce this. It's I-N-O-V-8 Fast Lift. These are some ladies uh, weightlifting shoes. They want 15 and comps. Like there's 170 listed and uh, like maybe 71 sold and only 30 of them are women's, but they're ranging from 15 to 40 bucks. And they want 15, so, I mean, they're in good shape, but I just honestly don't think they're a good pickup. I got my hopes up early. I thought this was another pair of Rothy's. I mean, I, I don't see the name in the middle, but they look almost just like them. Here's another Tracer Pro. Yeah. Worth about 25, but at 10, I'm not gonna pick it up because the no meat on the bone. Here's something that's very 
odd and peculiar. I don't know exactly what it is, but I believe it to be Power Rangers. It is 1999 Bandai, made in China. And when I do a Google Lens shirt, uh, Google Lens search, the only thing that comes up are in Japan, like Amazon Japan. Um, and there's something on Amazon Japan listed brand new for 19,000 yen, which converts to about 125 US dollars. So for 299 and a little bit of battery com corrosion, I'm gonna take it home, see what I got here. Well, this isn't half bad. Joss A. Bank Traveler Collection V-neck sweater, uh, Pima Cotton. It's got the tags on it and it's half price of $10. So for five bucks, this will be like a $25, $30 sweater. And I think I'll go ahead and pick it up. Just found me a nice new hat for myself for $2.99. These are my favorite kind of hats and it's hard to find one that actually fits. So even though it's an off brand of Russell Simmons American Classics, it fits, so it's gonna be mine. I think I'll take a chance on this liquid blue Jimi Hendrix tank top. It's half price at uh, four dollars, so it's only two. Um, it's worth about ten, maybe twelve dollars. And then, of course, I find something for myself. A nice Tommy Bahama. That'll be good at the beach. Well, this is neat. I found another Power Rangers toy from 1999. Where is it? There it is. 1999 Bandai, made in China. I think it's called the Thermo Blaster, according to the Google Lens search. Now, I did find some of these on eBay around the fifty to sixty dollar mark in complete condition. I don't, I can't tell if this one's 100% complete yet, but it looks good. I'm sure I'm gonna pick it up. Let's see what it is, $2.99? Yeah, I'll pick it up too. Well, $33.18 later, and I finally had a good thrifting trip this week. Can't you see the smile on my face? Well, I would normally wrap it up on a high note like that, but I'm not done yet. It's my wife's spring break, so it's time to go relax and have fun in the sun. So I want to finish today's video off with two stories of some recent finds that haven't made it into previous videos. One begins with this awesome Finding Nemo Disney VHS tape, which I got from the thrift store for only 50 cents. And I had no idea what I really had in my hand, except I knew it was uh, in a cardboard, cardboard sleeve. And because the Cars Disney VHS tape in a cardboard sleeve was very popular and expensive i thought hey for 50 cents might as well figure out what this one is after lots of internet research joining facebook um vhs collector uh, groups i found out it's just a bootleg nothing special other than it just being a bootleg it's not a promo video it's not a special release it's not a collector's edition or anything like that so i thought hey it had so much popularity on the internet and so many cool replies thanks to everybody who helped me out to figure this out so i listed it for a hundred bucks on ebay just for the heck of it to see what would happen i ended up getting a 50 dollar offer so i accepted it and he paid it immediately so thank you so that's a 50 cent bootleg finding nemo vhs tape for 50 cents into 50 dollars the other item that i found recently was a framed uncut page of 16 one dollar bills from the u.s mint treasury mint from 1988 and at first i just thought that was you know they wanted 17 dollars 16.99 so the value of the page if cut is 16 dollars but at goodwill they wanted 16.99 i guess that's for the frame as you can tell it's got glass on both sides of the frame but i just thought hey what the heck it looks awesome could be something really cool <clears throat> you can't find a whole lot of these on ebay but i did find two or three selling between 75 to 100 bucks but they were not unlisted currently so i went ahead and put it online for 115 dollars just to see again just to see what would happen and a few days later the spring in my garage door broke and how does that work into the story well the guy who came to fix my garage door he told me a story about how he and his uncle collect coins and money and things like that and he saw all of my ebay store items in my garage and he saw this framed page uncut page of one dollar bills and he thought it was really cool by the time it was all said and done and he fixed my garage door for like i think it was 225 dollars he offered me a hundred bucks for this page of uncut one dollar bills 
And I shook his hand and I told him gladly would I accept. So there you go. I sold 16 $1 bills for a hundred bucks. Gosh. Appreciate y'all joining me. I hope you subscribe. See you next time. I'm gonna go enjoy the beach.